Hello and welcome to the session. Let us understand the following question which says, Give an example of a relation which is first symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive. Second transitive but neither reflexive nor symmetric. Third reflexive and symmetric but not transitive. Fourth reflexive and transitive but not symmetric. Fifth symmetric and transitive but not reflexive. Now let's proceed on to the solution. The first part says symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive. So let A is equal to 1, 2 and 3 and relation R defined in A is R is equal to 1 and 2 and 2 and 1. And here it is clear that R is symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive. Now second part says transitive but neither reflexive nor symmetric. Let A is equal to 2, 3, 7 and relation R defined in A is R is equal to 7 and 3, 3 and 2 and 7 and 2. Now here 7 comma 3 belongs to R and 3 comma 2 belongs to R. And for R to be transitive 7 comma 2 should also belongs to R. Which is true. Hence, R is transitive but neither reflexive nor symmetric. In the third part, it is reflexive and symmetric but not transitive. Let A is equal to 1, 2 and 3 and relation R defined on A is given by R is equal to 1 and 3, 3 and 1 and 2 and 2. Now here it is clear R is symmetric as both 1 and 3 and 3 and 1 belongs to R. And also R is, transit, R is reflexive as 2 and 2 belongs to R. Therefore, we can write R is reflexive and symmetric but not transitive. Now, fourth part says that the 
reflexive and transitive but not symmetric. Let A is equal to 1, 2 and 3 and relation R defined in A is given by R is equal to 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3 and 1 and 3. This relation is reflexive as 1, 1 belongs to R and 2, 2 also belongs to R. It is also transitive as 1, 1 belongs to R and 1, 3 belongs to R and for it to be transitive 1, 3 should also belong to R which is true. Hence the relation is transitive. Therefore we can write that R is reflexive and transitive but not symmetric. Now the fifth part says that symmetric and transitive but not reflexive. So now let's try this example. Let A is equal to 1, 2 and 3 and relation R defined in A is given by R is equal to 1 and 3, 3 and 1 and 1 and 1. Here we can see that since 1 and 3 and 3 and 1 both belongs to R, the relation is symmetric. And also 1 and 3 belongs to R, 3 and 1 belongs to R and also 1 and 1 belongs to R which makes the relation transitive. Hence we can write that R is symmetric and transitive but not reflexive. I hope you understood all the examples. Bye and have a nice day.